Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a good old fashioned luxury unboxing, ready for the new spring season, which let me tell you, I am so incredibly excited about. I am just so ready for lighter colors, lighter layers, and all that good stuff. So I hope you guys enjoy this and let's get started. This video does continue on my collaboration with Farfetch, who I'm sure most of you are familiar with by now, but if you're not, then they are a luxury online shopping destination, which just has the most amazing stock ever. You're basically shopping from boutiques all around the world, so the stock selection is really unparalleled when it comes to all things luxury, and several other items that I'm sharing here today are available from Farfetch, so I will link everything down below in the description section if you did wanna check anything out. They were nice enough to give me another discount code as well, so you can take 10% off your purchase. There are some T's and C's, so it's only available for new customers, and there are some brand exclusions, but I will include all the T's and C's in the description section. Everything that I'm featuring here today from Farfetch does work with the discount code though, so you can get 10% off everything that I'm showing from Farfetch today. So I'm gonna go straight in with a sneaker unboxing. These are from Bayer, as you can probably tell. I do have another pair of Bayers, which I absolutely love they've become some of my most worn shoes my ones are just the plain ones so not a contrast B or anything they go with absolutely everything and because they are so neutral and they are so so crazy comfy so these ones have been on my wish list for a really really long time and I'm so excited to finally get them I often find they're quite difficult to find in stock in the variation I like so I was super excited to finally see some new arrivals and you do have the little booklet right there which I guess just tells you all about there and the different kind of leathers they do. Um, it's actually very, very comprehensive and tells you all about the different materials, which is quite cool. And then inside are the black contrast ones. And I know these are kind of the classic ones which everyone goes for. As I said, I went for the neutral ones originally, which I'm really happy with because they genuinely go with everything. But I've been eyeing up the black contrast ones for so long and I just think they're fantastic. So I am super pumped about these. They are just so lovely and classic, not too fussy and I just adore them. Um, now I have these, I promise I will do that sneaking comparison video that I've been promising you guys. I'm gonna compare these ones to the Golden Goose sneakers I have, which I also really like, but these are just a really nice option if you did want something a little bit elevated, but you didn't wanna spend Golden Goose money. I feel like these are a really, really nice option. So you do come with the laces and you have that great contrast V right there. And then you also have the black contrast trim on the back. And I'd say the sole, it isn't like a super chunky one. I feel like it's maybe kind of mid-weight, not super skinny, um, but not really chunky either. Again, just kind of nice and classic. The silhouette is very simple and I just love these so much. And um, they do do a few different variations and star names. I researched quite a lot before getting my first pair and I feel like I got it completely right in terms of what's right for me. I didn't want anything too chunky in terms of the sole and also comfort was a really big factor for me. I had heard that some variations aren't that comfortable and I didn't want a long breaking in period. So this style, which is exactly the same as my neutral ones, required no breaking in for me and they were comfortable right from the get go. I'm happy to wear these all day long and I do just find them very very comfy so I will include the exact ones I have um, in the link below you can also get the 10% off these as well um, and I'm just super happy to have these so hopefully I will get just as much use out of them as I have my neutral ones and I just think they are so cool looking now for a double handbag unboxing. Um, so I do have two handbags that I'm sharing with you that I'm planning on keeping um, in this video, but here I actually have two handbags, both very similar styles, um, only one of which I'm keeping though. I wasn't sure which kind I was gonna go for, so I ordered both to see which one I liked more. It was a clear winner for me, but I thought I'd share both of them with you in case any of you are making kind of the same decision and trying to decide between these two styles. Um, so they are both from Balenciaga, and and, oh, I'm very, very excited about these bags. 
Okay, so these are both from the Balenciaga Hourglass line, which I mentioned a few times on my channel, and I absolutely love it. I loved it pretty much as soon as it got released, um, but I wanted to wait a little bit because, you know, these are quite expensive bags. I wanted to see the longevity, but I feel like it's going strong, even though it's been around for a few years already. So I was looking at the line, um, and I wasn't sure what size to get. I know they do so many different options, so I decided to try both. And this is the first one. This is the one that I'm not going to keep. Um, so they're both a very similar color. This one is more of a wallet on chain style and it's absolutely beautiful. So I would describe the color as kind of like a dusky pink. You have that gun metal hardware though, which I do feel like it helps to toughen it up a little bit. And the leather is a mock croc. Um, so it's kind of got like a sheen to it. It feels very, very durable. And you do have that kind of gun metal silver chain all the way through. And it just opens up with a magnetic closure. It is quite a tough magnet as well. And I do want to be careful because I'm not planning on keeping this one But on the inside you do have quite a few compartments So you have a pocket right there on the front You have another zip pocket You have a pocket right there on the inside and then you also have a main kind of open space compartment as well as card slots as well. So if any of you are familiar with the Chanel wallet on chain, very similar in terms of layout to that and just very, very functional and neat. That said, it is very small and I kind of wasn't sure about the capacity when I saw it online. I thought it might be a little bit bigger than it was and essentially I wasn't really looking for a wallet on chain style. I wanted more of like a mini bag, which is why I ultimately decided against this one, which does lead me on to the bag that I did end up going for and as soon as I saw this I knew it was an instant keep you know when you just know when you see a bag that's how I felt about this one it is so beautiful so as I mentioned it's exactly the same color I have already attached the strap as well how beautiful is that? It is so, so lovely. So you do have that great top handle, very, very ladylike and elegant, I think. You do have the mock croc again, again with that slight sheen, but nothing kind of too overpowering. You have that gun metal silver, which again, I do think it helps to toughen up ever so slightly. And then the inside you have all the tissue paper. You also have the tag as well and the little care card. And then on the inside, you do have a very decent capacity indeed, mainly because there's no divider as well. So it's a nice big open space. I'm hoping I'm going to fit a very decent amount side, but you do have that one zip compartment right at the back there. Very, very smooth zipper. It actually expands a little bit as well, which is always a nice touch. And then on the back, you do have a big long pocket as well. I just thought this was so lovely. I love the fact that you have the long strap. Also, it is fully adjustable too, so you can really choose how you wanna wear it. You can wear it crossbody, just popped on the shoulder, but also you can carry it with a top handle as well. And I am over the moon excited about this bag. Very happy I finally have one of these in my collection as well. As I mentioned, I've been eyeing these up for a very, very long time. Um, and then I saw this combination and I just thought it was, so beautiful and fresh for spring and I do really love the design. I think it's so striking. It's very different in terms of the curves and the shape and oh, I'm just very, very excited about it. Um, this one, I'm not super familiar with the sizes but I did look at the different size options for these. I think there are two sizes below this and at least one size above um, but I will link the exact one I have. The 10% off does also work on Balenciaga as well so you can get the 10% off this one and also the wallet on chain if you're looking for something a little bit smaller. Um, but yeah, I will let you guys know how I get along. I am very excited to pair this with all the spring outfits and I just think it's so gorgeous. I have a few clothing pieces next. Um, all of these are slightly more on the kind of spring summer side. I'm just so over winter clothes that I have no interest in coats and sweaters at the moment. Um, but the first piece is this absolutely beautiful camisole. You guys will probably know how much I love my camis, especially lace detail ones. And I thought this one was so, so pretty. And um, there are a few different things going on. So you do have this really lovely lace detail all the way through. And you also have this really pretty double strap detail 
as well. So one goes into a kind of racer back strap and the other one is a straight strap. So they do kind of um, like diverge at the back. It's really lovely though. You have this kind of pleated detail on the back as well. So it flares out ever so slightly, but it's not a super oversized fit. I just say it's just right in terms of being nice and loose and flowy, really beautiful just with a simple pair of jeans. I also think this would work with skirts. You could do shorts if you wanted to, if it was more on the warm side, just a few different options. And I thought that the color was so unbelievably pretty. It's this really lovely bright coral. And for me, nothing says warmer weather like coral. I think it's such a beautiful shade, which you can really only get away with when the weather turns a little bit warmer. But I thought it was absolutely stunning, really, really elegant, fits really nicely, and the detailing is just so, so pretty. And now for a little bit more of a structured one, but I saw this online and I just thought it was so beautiful. It looked really great on the model and sometimes things don't always work out when you receive them in the post, but I love this just as much, if not more in real life. I think it is so great. So it does have an asymmetrical neckline. So you get kind of a little bit of drama, but still in a very streamlined shape. It comes in this really beautiful kind of blush pink, almost nude like color. So very, very neutral. I feel like this will go with anything. And then it's kind of like a one-sided off the shoulder look. So you kind of poke your arm through this band right here, and then you have a really thick strap on the other side. So really unusual. I don't feel like I have anything like this in my wardrobe. The material is a stretch one, but it's a thicker kind of a knit rib. So it does kind of suck you in, but not in any way that's uncomfortable at all. And again, it skims rather than clings, which is always such a big thing for me in terms of stretchy rib fabric. I feel like sometimes it can just be very unflattering, just really going onto every lump and bump, whereas this one has enough structure that it does skim rather than just be incredibly unflattering, which is never what I go for. Um, and I just thought the color was really lovely, a really nice kind of date night top if you did just want a pair of jeans. But if you wanted to go full on dressy, I think you could do so and I think it would look great. I think it came two of the colors, but I think both of those were sold out. So I think this one is a new arrival. But yeah, over the moon with this, I just thought it was so lovely. And then last but not least, I do have my second bag. So this one is from Mulberry and I was eyeing up this color. I mentioned this in a previous video and I was debating whether to go for the mini Alexa in this color. But then I saw this bag, which I believe is a new style for Mulberry and I absolutely fell in love. I thought it was so beautiful. So you do have the strap, as you can see, I haven't properly undone this at all, and it's a very, very chunky strap. So I think I am gonna experiment with both this one and maybe one of my own gold chains. The inside, and this is just the dinkiest, cutest bag. How adorable is that? As you can tell, I'm really into my spring colors at the moment for accessories. I'm just so ready for all the pretty pastels. And I thought this was so adorable. So this one is the mini Bayes Water, which again, I don't think I've seen from them in terms of this particular size and style. So correct me if I'm wrong, but I do think this one is new. I am going to unwrap it. That so you do have that great little luggage tag as well with the detailing of the Mulberry stamp. You have gold hardware. It's just a proper little turn lock as well. Just pop it open. And then on the inside, you do have the classic Mulberry Oxblood colored leather lining. So it is a full leather lining. Despite that, it's actually very, very light. So it doesn't feel overly heavy at all. And you do have some card slots on the back there, which is always really nice. So you do have a three in total, and then you have that Mulberry stamping right there. And again, there's no dividers or anything like that. So you can make full use of that space. And even though it is like a very dinky small bag, I feel like you'll be able to fit actually quite a lot in there because of the wide open space. So I feel like this one could be a bit of a sneaky one, much like the Mulberry Mini Lexa. I always feel like that holds way more than people think just because of the inner and how it's organized that like you actually can fit a very decent amount inside. So I'm happy to do a what's in my bag if anyone's interested in this style. But I thought it was so cute. Um, so you just have a plain base and then on the back, that's where you can hook on the straps. And as I mentioned, the strap is a very chunky one indeed. So here is the strap. So it's definitely very on trend in terms of that thicker, much shorter strap. It is adjustable as well. So you have this great statement buckle as well. And then you do have the Mulberry England stamp right there in the gold. Really, really pretty contrast. The color is so beautiful. I do believe these come in a few different shades. Um, I think there are small classic colors. So I think I saw 
the black, I want to say like a green, maybe a red. I just absolutely love this colour. I thought it was such a pretty pop of kind of lilac purple with like a hint of pink undertone. Really, really love these. So perfect for spring and I just think it's adorable. So hugely excited about this. Um, if you want to know anything about either of the bags I showed here today, I'm happy to do another video and answer any questions. Um, but yeah, over the moon excited about this one. So that is it for this video, guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. As usual, I will include links to everything I featured in the description section below. I'll also pop in all the details for that discount code if you wanted to check it out as well. If you have any questions for me, then leave me a comment. And please do give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy luxury unboxing videos. As always, thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.